Hello everyone, welcome here. Python interview questions with examples. So, let's begin. What is Python? What are its key features? When you ask a HR a simple question, what is Python? So, the Python is high level interpreted and general purpose programming language for simplicity and readability. It supports multiple programming paradigms such as procedural, object oriented and functional programming so when you say an example a python is a general purpose programming language where we can use it's a open source and it supports procedural object oriented similarly functional programming you have to say and let's see like uh, some of uh, key include like a uh, features include easy to learn and use Python has a clean syntax which makes like a beginner friendly easily how you will write an English uh, paragraphs in a following of a certain syntax the same way we can build and write a program in Python. So interpreted language says that code is executed line by line which is like earlier Java and C sharp with a similar the same way this is also run line by line which helps in debugging easily where the root cause analysis we have to identify and uh, uh, like uh, catching the problems the bugs in code easy using the interpreted languages dynamic typing python doesn't require explicit declaration of variable types all you have to simply specify name and use the as a variable it's not required specifically like a explicit declaration of a type of data type a particular uh, which type of data is going to be injecting inside a variable this is not required in python so extensive libraries it's a rich set of libraries why the popular like a uh, python is most popular nowadays means like it is, has a rich set of libraries and frameworks such as a uh, numpy pandas django and more let's see the next question What are Python's data types? Python has a several built-in data types including uh, so many I have added here. Quickly, int, float, str, it's nothing but string, list, tuple, dict, I like a dict, dict means like a dictionary set. So these all are having an examples like representing integers of example numbers, positive number, negative number, floating points like representing like a decimal value where the number is having called like a floating point simple example you may observe here 10.5 3.14 and the similarly the string representing strings like a characters a to z it might be capital or lowercase characters which is surrounded with a single quote or double quotes it might be numbers including symbols or like a alphanumeric characters list uri like a this is a ordered mutable collection of items square brackets having numbers comma based or text text means you have to take like a single quote or double quotes that is a common will be called as list items and tuple it's a ordered immutable collection of items which is surrounded with the parenthesis dictionary is like a key value pairs like a name value name it's a john age 30 like a name value pairs where the combination is added in dictionary where a huge set of data which is the key value you have to transmit from one place to another place or catching and loading and creating these functionalities easy when you are applying in dictionaries set it is an unordered unique collection it might be like a curly braces will be used you may be list tuple you say observe and sets both are similar whereas the square brace, parenthesis, curly braces will change the names and behavior of functionality too. So this is a type of uh, data types in Python. The next question is what is the difference between list and tuple? The main difference between list and tuples are mutability. List are mutable. The elements inside the list will can it can be possibly modify 
change and do the alterations after creation of list while tuples immutable we cannot possibly change or modify in tuples the syntax of list use we have seen like a square braces and the tuples are parentheses and performance of tuples are generally faster than list as you know that uh, it's a immutable we cannot change once the tuple is created the example of uh, writing and uh, declaration of a list this is a square braces and tuples are uh, curly braces like a parenthesis the next question is what is python function how do you define it a python function is a block of code which can be reusable when the function is created means we call the function for reusability for a specific task functions allows you to organize and improve readability promote code reuse you define function using a def keyword this is an important and example we can see like a define add numbers of like a two parameters a comma b return a plus b means return keyword means bounce back the data where you are calling from the function for example you have seen the calling the function result is in a variable using equal to add function we are calling and passing the param data values to the parameters like a function 3 comma 5 this 3 comma 5 is going to be calling add function which is assigning to the values a comma b a is nothing but 3 b is nothing but 5 and returning a plus b means 3 plus 5 so 8 when we call the print result we call like the add function is going to be calling this function and result is going to be storing into the result parameter this uh, variable and that result if it, we see the print the output would be 8 we can see this is the way we can repeatedly call the function with the changing the values so such a practical experience you, if you need to gain from the course in python we have readily available online courses with detailed explanation with the real world examples if you want to try try our online courses are also available greatly so what is the difference between break continue and pass like a statements in python we have seen here break exists the current loop entirely which is a stopping exist means like a uh, terminating continue skip the rest of the code inside the loop for the current iteration like when the loop is iterating we have to continue the iterations and the pass is doesn't nothing but like uh, use it to placeholder to the future code we have to continue the code for the execution not terminate the loop for example we can see like an input like a, for a range of a, if i equal to equal to 2 if it is a matched continue the statement not going to be stopped and why we require to use this continue and a break statements means like a, some internal more query executions and conditions if we want to execute any pop-up or any action to be taken then we have to use if this a continue statement break statement and uh, more see for this program this is the continue if it's two i equal to equal to two is a reaching whereas loop is going to be continue thanking you if you feel this video is helping you please do subscribe like share for more thank you